Hi Leute und willkommen zurück zu Genshin Impact 4.0 Wir haben im letzten Part den Mordunfall versucht der Mord gelöst und da wir als Traveler immer noch geschockt sind, dass die beiden zu den Fatui gehören hören wir uns jetzt ihre schreckliche Hintergrundgeschichte an damit wir ein bisschen mit den beiden mitleiden müssen Back when our parents first died Lynette and I were left wandering the streets. To survive, I took to surreptitiously observing an older street performer who did magic. It took me several days to figure out how he pulled off his amazing tricks. I took my sister through several streets until we found a crowded corner, and we began to perform magic tricks there. To my surprise, we proved to be pretty popular, and we could at least stop worrying about where our next meal would come from for a time. But... I didn't want my sister to remain a street rat together with me forever. Before long, an aristocrat came to me and claimed that he wished to take us in after watching my performances. So you went from orphans to nobility just like that? That was how we felt at first too. As if fate was on our side and we could say goodbye to those painful days. But I gradually discovered that while we were called foster children, He was really after my talent for magic tricks. He would constantly take me to all sorts of banquets to garner attention, which he would then use to expand his social circles. That doesn't seem too bad either. Better than roaming the streets at any rate. <laughs> It took a while for me to realize just how dark his heart really was. After one particular performance at a banquet, I discovered that Lynette was not on the same return vehicle as me. I waited a long time after we returned home, but she did not come back. I went to that noble's bedroom and asked him about her whereabouts. The answer he gave me was, She caught the eye of the most eminent person at the banquet, so I sent her over as a gift. I mean, you'll be able to perform your magic regardless of who your assistant is, yes? Oh no. So he was gonna... But wouldn't Fontaine's laws deal with such people? As far as outsiders are concerned, this is a relationship akin to adoption or foster care. And they have their ways of escaping the eye of the law. I managed to ferret out the location of the mansion of that so-called eminent person and hurried through the night. But by the time I leaped over the walls, avoided the guards and made my way in, All I saw was the moonlit ground covered in blood, and the knave standing there in the darkness. So, she'd already taken care of that guy. That's right. She had rescued my sister before she could come to any harm, and had even discovered several girls hidden in a basement, all of them orphans. Father, I mean, the knave, might have seen something in me, and so she made me an offer. The House of the Hearth welcomes you, for your interests align with ours. Here, none will ever betray you. Indeed, betrayal shall never be permitted here. I was hesitant to trust her. I mean, I had just been betrayed by nobles. But she was also quick to destroy the noble who had taken us in at first giving us back our freedom. Oh, so that's how the two of you joined the House of the Hearth. She has her own plans. She has gained permission from the Sarita to first use the Gnosis's power once she obtains it. She plans to use it to find a way to break the prophecy and save Fontaine. So... She believes in that prophecy, too? That's right. The whole House of the Hearth is currently working to combat that crisis. Today's case has also proven that people from Fontaine can indeed dissolve into some sort of water, thus further supporting the prophecy. All of us House members here, Lady Arlecchino herself included, are from Fontaine. We won't give up on defending our homeland. To us orphans, the only connection we have left to this world, apart from our family, is our homeland. So, 
from small deeds like distributing magic pockets to huge schemes like stealing a Gnosis, everything is aimed at dealing with that prophecy. It's all right. I understand. The only thing I can do is relate all this to you. I just hope you can understand that even as a member of the house, I have never stopped making my own decisions, and that I believe what I'm doing is right. If you should need anything at all in the future, feel free to find me. I will do my best to help you, as plain Linny. Okay, ja. Es, es geht irgendwie nicht voran. Wir sind immer noch im Akt 1. Und ich muss immer noch Dailies machen. Und ich muss den Akt fertig bekommen, hoffe ich irgendwie, damit ich die Dailies umstellen kann auf Fontaine. With the disappearing act you pulled right as the trial ended. Were you looking for us, Navia? Well, this whole thing isn't exactly over, is it? I do feel that we're getting closer to solving the serial disappearances case, though. Don't you? Huh? What's wrong, my dear partner? Besides, are you sure we're the ones who can crack a case that's been cold for decades now? And given that there's new evidence from the trial, there should be a trail of breadcrumbs for the Hydro Archon's people to follow now, right? Ah, I see. Well, I won't lie. I'm a little shocked to hear that from you. But I suppose you are just travelers who have only arrived in Fontaine after all. Ja, die wollen schon Sorry. wieder alle, dass ich ihre Probleme löse. Ich habe erst die Probleme von sich anderen Gebieten gelöst, kann ich Urlaub haben. Don't say that, Navia. Ah, oh, and we were having so much fun investigating with you too. It was like having new waters flowing into a stagnant mire, causing new hope to spring forth and the reflection in the murk to become clearer. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that. Wait, shall we have a farewell meal? You know, to huh? Do we really need to get that formal? Well, I just like to have a proper ending to every important memory. Anyway, it would just be a meal, so it shouldn't take up too much of your time. You don't have to twist Plyon's arm if Boss Navi is treating Camp Plymon in! Oh, wonderful. In that case, why don't we return to the Court of Fontaine and head to the Hotel de Boer? All right then, let's have our farewell! Oh, oh, wir haben Akt 1 abgeschlossen. Junge. Oh mein Gott. Hat sich der nächste Akt gerade gesplittet? Nein. Das sah eben so aus. Doch. Halbautomatische Schmiedespiel. Okay. You should really bring the Knights Und wir können Pavonia. jetzt auf Fontaine umstellen. Ah ne, wir kriegen die Belohnung, weil wir oh, die Story gemacht haben. Äh, Missionen können wir jetzt auf Fontaine umstellen. Wir, nice für morgen, nein, danke. Okay, dann. Kapitel 4, zweiter Akt. Grundlos gefallen wie ein sanfter Regen, wie das trübe Mondlicht vergangener Zeiten. Junge, es wird immer poetischer mit ihren Kapitelnamen. Achso, heute halt Stopp. Wie viel brauche ich noch? 3, 5, 10, 7. Okay. Dann werde ich 
portet zum Hotel oder muss ich selber laufen, selber porten? Also ich muss den Akt 2 noch heute fertig bekommen. Ich glaube, das wird nichts mehr. Ich muss noch drei Videos hochladen und releasen. Mit wenigstens bis zu Anfang, bis Anfang vor der Gerichtsverhandlung schon mal hochgeladen ist. Und die Olive World Quest muss ich auch noch anfangen. Meine Güte. Und hier hinten ist auch irgendwo eine World Quest. Mit einem Maler, der von irgendwelchen Schlägern bedroht wird oder so. Okay, aber hä, die Gerichtsverhandlung war cool. Mit dem ganzen Rumklicken und... Äh. Hm, hm. I came here several times with my father when I was little, but stopped eating here as often after growing up. I hope the food here will be to your taste. Oh, don't worry. We haven't eaten at a hotel like this in a while. <laughs> oh, in that case, I'll go order for us first. Ooh, everything looks so good. People in Fontaine sure know how to enjoy life. Why, of course. Go ahead, try whatever you like. If the food's good, I'll make a group reservation for the rest of Spina di Rosula next time. And if it's not? Well, uh, <laughs> then I'll still bring everyone. Albeit with only one dish per table. Yeah. Sure have your own way of doing things. Oh, we called this a farewell meal, but we could also treat it like a victory feast, right? We did just win that case, after all. Oh, true. Very true. In that case, boss, we'll have another two dishes. Huh. Paimon didn't mean that you had to order even more food. <laughs> Speaking of cases, do you think that the mastermind behind the serial disappearances will get caught soon now that this has all happened? Well... We've certainly taken a big step forward, but I feel that's about it. We know that there's an organization that means to dissolve these young women, but we still don't know what they are really after. If it hadn't happened right in front of us, Paimon wouldn't have ever believed that a person could be dissolved like that. <laughs> right? Yet it was because this was such a preposterous notion that the investigation could never really move forward before. Ugh. If only that guy could have finished speaking! We were so close to hearing who was behind it. In such investigations, even the smallest step can seem like a yawning chasm if the trail of clues is cut off. To be honest, I don't have high hopes for any follow-up that the authorities might conduct. It's not that I don't have faith in their ability, it's just that a different perspective is required in some matters. It's easy to guard against and deceive a single, narrow perspective. A shift in thinking is required at such times in order to produce a breakthrough. Which is exactly why the Spina di Rosula exists. Those highfalutin folk are not all-knowing. That's why we exist. To seep into the cracks where filth falls through. Where their watch fails them. That's the kind of problems we solve. Hmm. Seems Paimon thought things were simpler than they actually are. <sighs> it's alright. Well, this was supposed to be a farewell meal, so I doubt you have further interest in this bit. Let's talk about something else. Like, uh, what are your future plans? That's true. We didn't have a chance to speak to her after the trial ended. It didn't really seem like the right time or place to do it anyway. Hmm. I see. So, your primary objective which has been foiled so far, was to have a chat with the Hydro Archon. 
I've heard that there's a long line of people waiting to meet Lady Farina. I suspect you'll be waiting for quite a while, considering that you missed your chance today. Yeah, we've heard that she's super popular here in Fontaine, and that it'll be tough getting any of her time. Hmm. Well, would you consider some more, uh, unique ways? Perhaps? Guess that's Spina di Rosula's bus for you. Chock full of sketchy ideas. Well, what did you have in mind? Well, one way would be to infiltrate a performance troupe at the Opera House, only to abandon your act at the play's climax and ask to speak to her after the performance. I'm sure Lady Farina would be eager to see the ending, and would agree in order to finish watching the play, don't you think? Uh, could you suggest something a little more practical? This plan seems pretty hard to pull off. <sighs> All right. Here's another. Find a way to conceal yourselves under her bed. Then, wake her up in the dead of night and demand answers. Don't let... I can personally <laughs> testify that this one works. When I'm sleepy, I'll do anything as long as I can finally get some sleep. Uh... That might work, but that's not really the problem. The problem is, we don't want to get ourselves arrested. Ah, valid point. I overlooked that part. I was... <laughs> all right, all right, no more joking around. Huh, perhaps you could... You did defeat her in court, clearing citizens of hers from false accusations. False accusations she had nearly upheld personally. I imagine that she feels quite ashamed of... You mean that if we catch her while she's on a break, she might be too embarrassed to refuse? Oh, that... Why don't we give it a try after this meal? You know... Strike while the iron is hot and all. Huh? Paimon, did you drink my Fanta? Uh, was this your drink? <laughs> Sorry about that. Paimon wasn't really paying attention in the... No, it's fine. We're just about done here. All right. Honestly, Paimon wouldn't recommend Fanta anyway. It tastes kind of salty and icky. Is that so? Huh. Well, in that case, we'll have to blacklist the Fanta here, then. If we're all finished eating, then I'll go pay. Yeah, we're stuffed. Oh, so full. Paimon can barely float anymore. Nah, that would be so... normal. Hmm. Hey, as for expenses this month... We... Hey, Navia! What are you doing Oh, nothing, nothing. It was just a meal, you know? Nothing the Spina di Rosula can't cover. <laughs> <sighs> Let's get ready to try to meet the Hydro Archon again. <sighs> so this is goodbye, huh? Well, if you do encounter any other trouble in Fontaine, you're always welcome to contact the Spina di Rosula. I'll give your request the highest priority. Ah. Uh, in any case, I wish you smooth sailing. See ya! Okay. Das will mich niemand umbringen. Gut. Ich warte darauf, dass ich hinterrücks entführt werde. Bitte keinen Flachkörper machen. Dürfen wir jetzt beim Schmied die neuen Vorstars schmieden? Nachdem wir diese komische Quest bekommen haben.
Okay, das sind die neuen Four Stars aus der Region. Wir beim Auslösen der Elementarfähigkeit den Angriff um 12%. Äh, es entsteht gleichzeitig Eid des Lebens mit einem Basiswert in Höhe von 25% des maximalen LP ab Zeit. Wenn der Eid des Lebens entfernt wird, wird der Angriff um 2,4% der entfernten Summe max 150. Wuss! Fehlt dazwischen irgendwas? Egal, auf jeden Fall haben wir jetzt hier die neuen Baupläne für die neuen Waffen. Oh, eine neue LP-Waffe. Tippe eine Heilung. Energie wieder her. Für Song Lee vielleicht. Eine neue LP-Waffe. Müssen wir nicht mal die Drei-Sterne-Waffe benutzen. Angriff, Angriff. Angriff, Angriff. Angriff, Angriff. Ja, hier geben, geben halt kein Kritrate, Kritschaden nicht auf das Four Stars. Also, was brauchen wir? Die Mandarinen, okay. Die Gezeite, Gezeitenalge. Ja, okay. Haben wir ein paar. Und die einfach die neuen Ärzte. Nice. Und dann halt hinterher zum Schmieden nochmal die neuen Ärzte und ähm halt die Waffen Na, die geänderte Form hier von, von Fontaine okay gehen wir hier noch rüber schon wieder jetzt war ich da als wenn ich da heute nicht vier Stunden war gefühlt Den Roakon mit dem Kupferrohr ins Gesicht schlagen jetzt. Bam. There aren't many people äh, around anymore. Looks like that boat we took to Araneus might have been the last one. The shame. Hmm. Looks like we're back here again. Huh? Traveler? Are you hearing voices again? Oof. That's kind of spooky. Are you sure we don't want to come back in the morning? Vashe? Vashe? Hey, why are you still walking towards it? There might be something nasty in the water. Huh? Hang on. Paimon can kind of hear a voice. It's calling for Vashe, right? Hey, Traveler? Stop walking! Come on, wake up! <sighs> ah, also doch, Nozianide. Vache, are you my dear Vache? No, wait. You seem to be someone else. Do you know Vache? Do you know where my love I'm Wait, who am I? 
But my memories feel like they have been washed away like a flood. So many fragments dissolved amidst the tide, never to be recovered. How much have I lost? How many things that I once held dear while on land have I since forgotten? Yes, that is what I was once. But now, I am but the consciousness of one who has lost their form. I do not know how I came to be like this either. I only vaguely remember being covered in light blue water, and then all grew dim. <sighs> I also remember going to many places. I loved adventure, loved exploring places of peril. No matter where I went, Vache would go with me. I knew how dearly he loved me, and I also loved him equally as much. But now, we can no longer go back. The pain of such parting. I never knew how heavy it could be. No, our reunion no longer has any meaning. There is no way for us to create any new memories. The thought of me gives him no succor. So let it lie forgotten beneath the waters. If you meet Vashe, tell him not to look for me. Tell him to move on. That is the only thing I still remember. Perhaps that is so. As I was submerged in the waters, losing consciousness, I saw Vashe above the surface. His eyes were filled with such sorrow, such longing. If only I could have comforted him, told him that I did not suffer. Indeed, I had felt a great warmth. Is that what you call it? Dissolving? If anything, I consider it a form of release. It was a state of neither fear nor frenzy, with only an endless peace. Like the water still surface. I could also liken it to being a thirsty person who drinks water for the first time, and only then sees how they have lived for so long in a world of endless want and anxiety. I think I hear your companion. It's time for you to go, I think. Farewell, then. I am glad that you were able to sense my presence. Remember, if you see Vache, tell him not to seek me out any longer. Was zur Hölle? Du musst her, look her! Ja, mit so einem scheiß Schwert würde ich heute nicht gut kämpfen können. Dear God, it's a whole army of Gardamax. Chlorand?
Ihr könnt später knutschen. Nicht jetzt. Was, was ist los? Warum greift nur Roboter Armee uns an? Thank you for lending us your sword there, Clorand. But before I do so, could you explain how you managed to show up here? I followed you. It seemed to me that danger has followed you more closely as of late. I believe that following someone without their knowledge is actually called stalking. Is it Mr. Callus's <laughs> last wish was for me to ensure your safety, and I will not betray his trust. He would do the same. Do not speak of my father. Sorry, demoiselle. I was not strong enough. Thank you for your aid, Miss Corand, but do keep an eye out for your manner of speech. I believe we all wish to avoid unnecessary emotional harm. Sorry, I did not consider your feelings. Whatever. What else do you know? How did you come to the conclusion that I'd be in grave danger? I doubt I know much more than you. But I believe that the mastermind behind the serial disappearances is very powerful. Your performance tonight will almost certainly attract their attention. Huh. I'm sure they've known about me. To be honest, I'm shocked it's taken them this long to act against me. And what about these Gardamax? I thought only those associated with the Maison Guardianage could control them. None of these mecha have serial numbers. I was sure to check a moment ago. They are not the ones used by the authorities to enforce the law. I can only conclude that some powerful or wealthy party must have obtained them via illegal means. What? Your point being that they're out of Spina di Rosula's league then? Yes. Be careful and do not act rashly. I will continue investigating no matter what. We will bring the truth to light. That's my father's true last wish. <laughs> Regardless, thank you for your help today, Clarand. But if you get any ideas, tell me first. I don't much appreciate being followed. I do not think that they'll strike again anytime soon. So I shall stop following you. Good day, all. Right. I suppose that's the best news we've gotten today. Demoiselle, I believe that Miss Clorand was being sincere with you. If we tried, we could attempt to thaw relations a little. I know, I just... She's... Ugh. Oh, thank goodness! Paimon thought we were done for! Those Gardamex came out of nowhere while you were unconscious, and Nadia and her gang saved us! Oh, and there was that champion duelist named Clorand who came out to save us, too! We got lucky there. Paimon probably couldn't have fought them off otherwise. Oh, <laughs> come now. Forget all that polite talk. That wasn't really a farewell meal we had back there. Not for me, anyway. In truth, I hope that every meal we have together shall be a victory feast. As such, we're still partners. There's no need to thank me. It will take 50 years for me to match Demoiselle's magnanimity. If it were me, I would have joined the Spina di Rosula on account of her goodwill long ago. <laughs> All right, you two. Actually, Navia, how did you know that we were in danger? You sure did show up in the nick of time. Well, to be honest, you're the one who tipped us off, Paimon. Huh? Really? Paimon contributed somehow? Yes. All thanks to you grabbing my drink by mistake. Uh, how did that help? After we parted ways, I was on the way back to one of our bases when I suddenly thought of what you said. That the Fanta tasted kind of salty and icky. Oh my god, what das komische Zeug drin, was einen schmelzen lässt? Fanta only comes in sweet flavors. So how could it have tasted salty? The color of the drink, if I recall, had also been a bit off. So the Fanta had been spiked with water from the primordial sea? Yes. Oh. So, if you hadn't drunk that cup for me... Spina di Rosula is preparing the grandest of awards for you as we speak for saving the boss. Huh. Really? I sent people to Hotel de Boer to investigate. But whoever did this left no trace at all. That's when I figured out that you might be in danger and hurried here as quickly as I could. What? Why would they go after us too? 
we did was defend Linny in court and help clear his name! Oh, now we're caught up in this mess too, aren't we? Well, you did foil a plan that they were probably pretty proud of, and almost got their name in the process. Speaking of which, did anything strange happen when you drank the primordial seawater? Well, it can't be a coincidence that the Traveler fainted just now. He said that he heard that voice calling for Vashe again. Oh, and this time Paimon heard it too! But it was real faint. Does this situation have to do with the primordial seawater then? Does that mean the primordial seawater raises someone's sensitivity to Hydro when it's used on people who are not from Fontaine? That doesn't sound like too much of a bad thing, to be honest. New intel? While you were out cold? Uh, well, let's hear it, shall we? Oh, that is important. Vache, that name doesn't ring a bell. I suppose he hasn't stepped forward as a witness in court lately. Since he saw that young woman dissolve, he was at least at the crime scene. But he never gave testimony or any information regarding people dissolving in the primordial seawater. Could he have been... threatened? Yes, thank you. This is very important information indeed. We will continue to investigate. Oh, you mean you'll help us investigate? Well, you did say that our farewell meal didn't really count. That means we're still partners, right? And besides, we're in this now whether we like it or not. You're not gonna let those people who targeted us get off the hook so easily, are you, Traveler? Demoiselle, do try not to look quite so pleased. You are the face of Spina di Rosula, after all. <coughs> you talk too much. <sighs> well, in that case, let's head back to one of our bases, shall we? Alt, we also have some plans to go over, and hopefully we can deepen our bonds as partners. Don't worry, you two. With us around, our base is definitely secure. Okay, da irgendwo hin.